Hello, I am Professor N. B. Bulle from G. H. Raisuni Institute of Engineering and Technology, and in this video, we will try to learn how to apply uh, the superposition theorem for the complicated network where we have to use the star and delta conversions. In place of that, here in this particular uh, example, I want to use uh, the method which is. Uh, Mm, the direct inspection method for the calculation of the currents for each cases. Now here, I will consider the case one. In case of the superposition principle, we have to calculate the current that much number of the times as we have the number of sources. In this particular case, we have the number of sources are three. That is 45 volt, one uh, 20 volt, and 20 volt source. But here, if we are using the reduction technique in this particular case, it becomes very complicated because in the reduction we have to convert star into delta or delta into star, which gives very complications. In place of that, I will use a direct inspection method. For time being, we will assume in the case one, I am considering only the 45 volt source and 20 old source and 120 uh, old source is replaced by its central instance. Means here this source is not available and this source is not available. In that particular case, how will be the matrix? Here in this case, this matrix will be something like this. We have the three currents for case one. This is I1, maybe I2, and maybe I3, which is equal to some constants. That is C1, C2, and C3 as we have discussed in the previous video. Here I will assume the currents, this is I1 for the loop 1, this is I2 for the loop number 2 and this is I3 for the loop number 3 for the first case. Now here in this case, <coughs> we will prepare its matrix. How will be the matrix, impedance matrix or resistance matrix here? R11, this is R12, this is R13, it will be R one R22 and uh, it will be R23 and finally R31, R32 and it is R33. This is the structure of the impedance matrix I as uh, I already discussed about this. Now here first we will find out the diagonal elements in this case. These are the three diagonal elements. I will start with the R11. R11 is the resistance of the first loop. This is first loop. Its resistance will be that is uh, 20 plus 10 will be 30 and diagonal elements are positive in case of the direct inspection method I as I discussed in the previous video. Then we will find out the R22 that is resistance of the second loop here. This is the second loop its resistance will be that is a 15 plus 5 20 plus this 20 which will be 40. This is 40 ohm. Then finally we will find out this R33 that is resistance of the third loop which is 5 plus 5 that is 10 plus this 10 will be 20. These are the three diagonal elements. Now here we will find out the remaining two elements that is R12 and R21. These two elements that is resistance which is common for the first and second loop or second and first loop. This is first loop, second loop common resistance is 20. This is value will be the minus 20 and here will be the minus 20. Then we will find out this value. R13 or R31 that is a resistance which is common for the first and third loop. This is first loop. Here is the third loop. The common resistance is the 10. That is why its value will be the minus 10. This is minus 10. Here it is. Uh, its value is again minus 10. Then we will find out the resistance which is this value R23 or R32 that is resistance which is common for the second and third loop. This is second loop, this is third loop. The common resistance is 5. It will be minus 5 and this is again minus 5. Then here for the case 1 we have considered only the 45 volt source. That is why while calculating the constant this source will be replaced by its central instance which is 0. This source will be replaced by its central instance which is 0. Means here if we are traveling clockwise to find out the constants with the direction of the current I1. In that case negative to positive it will be plus. Its value will be constant C1 45. Value of the constant C2 will be 0. Because this source will be replaced by its central instance. And finally the value of the constant C3 will be 0. Now this is equation. 
In what current we are interested? We are interested in the calculation of the current in the 15 ohm resistance. Means for source 1, we have to find out current in this resistance which is the 15 ohm. Means we are interested in the I2 only. Now here, if I am using the calculator directly to uh, uh, find out its values, I will enter the values. Now here, if I am using the calculator, I will use the shift. Uh, I will use the mode of the calculator and uh, I will go to the equation that is by pressing 1. Unknowns, I will use the 3 unknowns. Now A1 which is 30, then B1 which is minus 20, then C1 which is minus 10 and D1 is nothing but the constant which is 45. Here it is 45 which is equal to A2 which is minus 20, uh, then B2 which is plus 40 then it is minus 5, then D2 which is 0, that is constant, A3 which is minus 10, then it is minus 5 again, then C3 which is 20 and uh, finally D3 which is again 0, this is 0 which is equal to. We have the current I1, for this case I1 is 3.77 in which we are not interested. We are interested in only I2. I will note down the value of I2 only. Now here the Y will be our second current is 2.189 that is 19. Means here I2 for first case is 2.19 amperes. Is this is the value of the current plus flowing through the 15 ohm resistance for the source number 1. Similarly, we will consider its case 2. Now here it is case 2. What we will do in the case 2? In the second case, we will consider we will consider the 120 volt source. We will consider 120 volt source. That is this. And here this source will be replaced by its internal resistance. This source will be replaced by its internal resistance. Now, how will be the matrix? The impedance matrix will be the same. But for second current case, I will name the currents as I1 dash, I2 dash and I3 dash because currents will be the different. Here it is I1 dash, I2 dash and I3 dash. These are the currents for the case 2 means whenever we have considered the second source that is 120 volt source. This constants will be the same. This will be the 30, this will be the minus 20, this is minus 10, this is minus 20 again, this will be the 40, this is minus 5, this is minus 10, this is minus 5, 20. Because we are not changing any element in this uh, circuit. We are changing only the constants. That's why the first constant will be 0. Here in this loop, first constant will be 0. How will be the second constant? If we are traveling in the loop with the direction of current, we are traveling from positive to negative which is minus 120. This is minus 120. And for third loop, again this constant is 0 because we have taken this source is replaced by its central instance again. Now here in this case, we will calculate the current in the 15 ohm resistance for second source which is 120 volt. So here if I am doing the calculations here A1 is 30 already I have mentioned here A1 is already 30 which I have taken here this A1 which is 30 A2 is minus 20 already entered C1 minus 10 here D1 45 was in the previous case now I will enter it as 0 this is 0 A2 minus 20 B2 40 C2 minus 5 and here D2 which is minus 120 I will note its value then A3 minus 10 this is A3 minus 10 then A4 minus 5 then C3 20 and then D3 0 this is I1 that is first current we are not interested at all this is I2 this is I2 in which we are interested for the second case that is I2 dash its value will be the minus 6.48 amperes this is the current flowing through 
the load resistance for case number 2 for case number 2 now here i will consider its case 3 i will consider here that is case 3 this is case 3 in third case we will consider the third source means here we will consider the third source this here, this source, this source will be replaced by its synchronizers. Now we are considering the 20 volt source. Now here in this case, how will be the matrix? How will be the matrix? Matrix will be the same. This is 30, this is minus 20, this is minus 10. Then here it is minus 20, this is 40. Here it is minus 5, it is minus 10, this is minus 5, 20. This is not going to change because we are not changing anything. Now here I will name its current for the third case as I1 double dash, I2 double dash and I3 double dash. This here it is I1 double dash, I2 double dash and I3 double dash which is equal to constants. What is the constant for first case? Zero because 45 is replaced for third case 45 volt is replaced by central instance second constant which is again zero because 120 volt source is also replaced by its central instance then this 20 volt we have that's why if we are traveling with the direction of the current is constant will be plus 20 is constant will be plus 20 now this is the matrix now we are interested in which current i2 double dash which is current in the 15 ohm resistance for the third source. That is the superposition theorem because we are considering one source at a time. For first source, we have calculated the current in 15. For second source, we have calculated current in the 15. Now for third source, we are calculating current in the 15 ohm resistance. Now here, if I am using the calculator again, then here, what we have? A1, already we have entered its value 30. Then a2 which is 20, sorry B1 which is 20, then C1 which is minus 10 and here D1 is also 0, this is D1 which is 0, the next A2 minus 20, then B2 plus 40, then C2 minus 5, then D2 this value it is 0 now which is A3 minus 10, B3 minus 5, C3 20, and here D3 which is 20. Now here we have the current I1 uh, double dash then I2 double dash we are interested only in I2 double dash that is XYZ means I this will be XYZ means I1 double dash I2 double dash this will be the 0.756 amperes this is plus again no need to bother about in this method no need to bother about the direction if the direction is same as the assumed direction of the current answer will be positive otherwise answer will be the negative value now here this is the current now we are interested to calculate the current using superposition theorem now current in the load resistance this il is equal to it is I2 plus I2 dash plus it is I2 double dash which is equal to here I2 will be 2.19 plus I2 dash will be minus 6.48 minus 6.48 then plus I2 double dash will be 0.756 or 75 which is equal to which is equal to if I am adding these three currents then here I, again I will change the mode I will come to the normal mode here it is 2.19 this will be the 2.19 plus or it is uh, to be exact it is minus this is 6.48 then it is plus 0 0.756 which is equal to minus minus 3.53 amperes and this minus sign indicates the current in this resistance will be opposite to that of this downward direction that's all from this particular video thank you